Hi. You okay? How are you at remembering things? I am getting really forgetful. So forgetful that I have to put things in certain places so that they remind me of things so I don't forget. Hi Debbie, are you okay? Did you have a good half term? Uh, I can't remember what I did. Didn't you do some decorating? Oh yeah, when was it? Anyway, you asked me to remind you about something. Oh, right, good. What was it? Um. Great. You've forgotten. But what I have remembered, Debbie, is that this week we're due to talk about Moses. And Moses is the third most mentioned person in the Bible after Jesus and King David. And he is mentioned 803 times in the whole Bible, including 76 times in 76 different verses in the New Testament, which is way after Moses was alive. So that is really interesting. So why is Moses so memorable? Well, he did do a lot of important stuff. I wonder if anyone watching can remember any of the things that Moses did. I tell you what, we'll put up six things on the screen in a moment and play some music and give you about oh, 30 seconds to try and work out which ones come up in the stories about Moses. Have a go. Got it. Only one of those wasn't true. It was Jonah who was in the big fish. Correct, Debbie. Well done. Perhaps your memory isn't quite so bad after all. Hey, what's that behind you? Oh, that's my special communion cup. It reminds me to do communion each week on WhatsApp. That's when we remember Jesus dying for us. No, no, not that. Oh, oh, that... That is Buddy the Plant Pot. Um, he's there to remind me to get ready for um, Sprouts, which is like a Sunday school group for three to seven year olds. It's Buddy. No, not, not that. Oh, the snail. Yes, that's there to remind me to um, do some crafts for um, mums and toddlers. I do that on Facebook. Yeah, that's just to remind me because I forget every Thursday. No, Debbie, the, the, the red thing. Oh, a puppy. That's to remind me that it's Remembrance Sunday this Sunday. Oh, that's it. That's what I was supposed to remind you of, to do our disassembly this week about Remembrance Sunday. Ah, uh, it's too late now, isn't it? We've started talking about Moses. But it all ties together, Debbie. God knew that Moses and his people would easily forget that God went to a lot of trouble to help get them into a free and safe country. So to help them remember, he told them to have special feasts every year. Yes. In Exodus chapter 13 and verse 3, it says, Moses said to the people, remember this day. The day you left Egypt, you were slaves in that land. The Lord, with his great power, brought you out of it. And then God told Moses to have all these special feasts every year to remember that day and also to remember to tell their children about all the adventures they had when they got out of Egypt. We forget things today and so we have special days like Remembrance Sunday and we have poppies to remember what the soldiers were prepared to do and the sacrifices that they made to ensure that we could get to live in a safe country. Yes, 
And my communion that I have every week, that reminds me about what Jesus did on the cross for me. And then I remember that he set me free so I could live in his wonderful kingdom too. So they all tie together beautifully, don't they? That's really good. Right, what do we normally do next, Johnny? I can't remember. Well, Sarah says something thought-provoking and we listen carefully. Let's do that now. Sometimes it's important to think about what we're doing now, to press on without looking back. But sometimes we need to look back, to remember. Remember how we have overcome difficulties before. Remember how other people have helped us and even given their lives in war so we can be free. Remember that when the dark days of winter come, Spring is only just around the corner, and rain always gives way to sun. Father God, help us to remember all the wonderful things you have done for us, the gifts you have given us, but most of all, help us to remember what Jesus did for us, how he died on the cross and then came back to life, so that we need not fear death, but can look forward to life with him forever. Amen.